Okay, so today's test is going to be to see, let's get it in focus here, that my 8000 BTU air conditioner can run off of my Xantrex pure sine wave inverter. So this is a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And over here, I'm running four Trojan L16GAC deep cycle batteries. So you can see the watt hours and the amp hours at the five hour mark. Because realistically, I'm not gonna be able to run these for 20 hours. It's going to be most likely five hours. So we're gonna use the 320 amp hour rating. Now, just for reference, I have these in series. So there's four batteries, six volts each, gives me 24 volts, and 320 amp hours. So in a little later, I'll do the math and we'll show you how much wattage I should have in there with only loading these 50%. I don't want to take them lower than 50% to risk damaging the battery. So we'll get to the math later, but I want to show you the volts where we sit. So I also have a watt meter hooked up here so we can see. For some reason it uh, kicked on right away, which it never usually does, but it did. So we're using 490 watts. So. The test here is to see how long we could run this solution before the batteries get at about 50% drain. Now, take a look at the uh, voltage. So we saw it sitting at 25.6 and notice it's 24.4 under this kind of a load, which is about normal. So I should also put my watch up so we can see the time. Uh, so it's, let's just call it 2 o'clock. So it's 2 p.m. and what I'm going to do is just come back about every hour. Okay everyone, I'm back. If you look at the watch, it is now 3 o'clock. And let's go over to the battery. So we're holding tight at 24.2. I don't know, it's about 75 out here today. And the fact that I have this open, this open, the temperature in here feels like it's about I don't know, 75, 76, somewhere like that. So it shouldn't shut off. Uh, let's take a look at our wattage. You can get a good look at that. So we're at, looks like it's saying 590. Just gonna flip it so you can see how many amps we're using. Uh, okay, if you can see that, 5.2. And of course the volts, 116, 117, which are absolutely fine. So, so far everything's going good. What we'll do is we will check on this again in another hour and we'll keep our eye on the volts. So if you see right there, it went down, you know, it's toggling, Let's see if this light helps. These batteries, just so you know, are from, I believe they're from 2000, 13. Okay guys, here we go. This is going on hour two. Uh, it's almost four o'clock. Remember we started this at two o'clock. So let's go take a look at our voltage. Okay guys, here we are. Where are we? Hour three now. It's a little after five o'clock. And let's take a look at our battery. Okay guys, here we are, hour four. And you can see the voltage is 23.3, okay? I am gonna go ahead and shut it down right now. Uh, four hours it's been running and I don't really like it. Uh, when you're doing something like this, you should always have fuses. Uh, so that if something does happen, the fuse will blow and, and nothing will catch fire. 
So uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and turn off the uh, air conditioner and the inverter, and then we're going to check the voltage real quick. Um, so I'm just going to shut this down. Okay. Now I'm going to shut off the inverter. So nothing's on, and you'll notice the uh, voltage immediately goes up to 24.2. So uh, I should let the voltage uh, settle a little, uh, and it may. I'm sorry. I should let you know some time go by and let the voltage uh, take a reading here. You know, in an hour or two hours or, or whatever. And I do believe it would probably go up a little bit, probably to, you know, you just, uh, it said 24, you just saw it go 24.3, it's jumping between the two. It'd probably even go up to 24.4, 24.5, maybe even 24.6, I don't know. I'm probably going to get it in an hour or two and see where it goes. Uh, as far, I, I'm not going to wait overnight though, because I want to charge these batteries up. Uh, I did uh, take a lot out of the batteries right there, so if you think about it, 600 watts for four hours so you know in theory I took what uh, 2400 uh, watts out of there so uh, again where are we at here S six o'clock so we ran four hours on you know these four batteries alone and uh, I'm just guessing look here just in the quick time that I was talking we're up to 24.4 already so uh, you know, if you look at the chart here from Trojan, I don't know how well you can see that. If it's clear or not clear, I'm not sure. But, uh, oh, I don't have a calculator with me, but even if you take a, a look at the, um, you know, the line right there, the 6.12, if you times that by uh, 4, I think you get, uh, what, 24.5 or something. So, uh, I do believe, like I said, I probably took these from, you know, I don't know. I don't know if they were 100% topped off, but they were, I bet you, 80 to 90 to 100%. So, I'm going to guess that these are close to 50% uh, that I just drained them with the four hours of runtime. So, you know, you can see uh, really uh, that was a, an 8,000 BTU. You know, if I had a 5,000 BTU, AC probably would have been drawn, you know, if I had a high energy efficient one, maybe, you know, 12.2 EER uh, on a 5,000 BTU, it'd probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of 375 watts, which, you know, is a lot less than you know, the 600 I was drawn. So you can see how just with, you know, four batteries here, now granted, these are very high amperage battery, you know, the 320 amp hours at the five hour mark. So, uh, but nonetheless, uh, four batteries, if I had a 5,000 watt, uh, I'm sorry, 5,000 BTU air conditioner, I could have probably got, you know, seven hours out of it. And uh, if you're in a power outage situation and you don't want to run your uh, generator at night, uh, this is a perfect solution. You know, you can turn these things on, you know, the inverter on it, uh, you know, 11 o'clock at night, let it run, you know, till six in the morning, come down, shut it off, and then uh, use your generator to, or your solar power. Uh, the reason I say generator is because it would probably charge up your batteries a lot faster. Uh, I'm sorry, the battery charger would charge up the batteries a lot faster than a, than a um, solar power would. So uh, you can see though how you can go real stealth at night uh, and run an air conditioner and not have a generator on or worried about your generator getting stolen. Uh, you just run an extension cord out uh, you know, from your inverter up to your air conditioner and uh, you know, you're good to go. Uh, you know, I, I look at it, this as a nice little solution, these four batteries for a, uh, a power outage where I don't want to run the generator. You know, I just was able to run 600 watts and uh, I ran it for four hours. Uh, and you know, uh, I think it worked uh, so we will uh, I will check back like in an hour I don't suspect that's gonna move probably much from 24 4 uh, with the amount of drain we took on oh, as I say that it just jumped to 24 5 
but uh, we'll see where it ends up. Uh, check it like in an hour or two, and then what we'll also do is we'll check the uh, the hydrometer. We'll check to see what uh, what that says as well. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I wanted to wrap this up. It's Seven o'clock, so it's an hour after we uh, shut everything down. So if you look, the DC volts are toggling between 24, 6, and 24, 7. Now, if you go over to the chart here and divide that by 4, because I have 4 batteries, you're going to come out and see we have about 70% state of charge. So uh, doing the math, uh, that actually seems about right. Uh, if you figure we started with uh, 320 amp hours times 24 volts gives us uh, 7680 um, amp hours available. Now, if you take um, what we used, uh, we know we used 600 watts an hour and we had it running for four hours. So if you divide 2400 into 7680, you get around 31%. And that seems to be exactly what we've used here. So if we started at 100% and we used uh, 30%, we end up with 70%, which is right around what we're seeing here with the voltage. Um, I'll also try to do here, I don't know how well it's going to work with one hand, but I'll try to do a, a gravity uh, for you so you can see it. Uh, it might be hard to see, but uh, the first one's right around 1225. So if we come over here to 1225 on the specific state of gravity, you know, the closest thing we can get to here is uh, 70%, you know, 1217. Uh, those meters aren't that accurate, but. Uh, You know it's close enough for what for what we're trying to prove here so what I'm trying to do here is just go into another battery and see where we're at uh, that one there's a little lower one two zero zero uh, so if we come over here uh, one two zero zero we're in between 60 and 70 percent so uh, I'll just try the third battery here real quick. Sorry if some of this is off camera, but I'm doing this with one hand, which is a little hard. Okay, we'll come over into this battery. And, you know, again, uh, somewhere between 1225 and 120. Um, 1200. So, uh, one, two, two, five, one, two, two, zero, we fall somewhere in the neighborhood of the, you know, 60 to 70% line. So, uh, it does appear, uh, that that's fairly accurate. So what I end up doing here, if, you know, uh, all my numbers and math are right, is that I end up using about somewhere between 30 and maybe 35 uh, percent I drew the batteries down so the reason I shut it off at four hours is because like I said I've never really drained these things that deep before so I really had no numbers to compare you know what the loaded voltage number was and I got a little worried there when it went down uh, when we were on the four hour mark uh, can't remember the exact number uh, the voltage number but uh, I was getting a little concerned. Uh, we had a long way to go before the uh, inverter would have shut off, but I didn't want to, you know, damage the batteries either. So 